Hello everyone, my name is Prime and welcome back to another very special episode of ATS Showcases. So today, as you can see, we are going to be driving the Western Star 49X, the very, very brandy spanking new truck that's in from the, for the wheel, real world and ATS. Uh, can't wait to get on here and what's better than to be here in Stocktown, uh, California at a Western Star dealer pulling some uh, Western Star 49Xs to Oakland just a small little journey and we're going out to uh Oakland shippers uh makes sense uh, and that's another nice thing that I'll talk about a little bit later is with pulling these things but first let's go into some of the configuration options uh for the 49x because there are actually quite a few of them Okay, so just inside the configuration tab here, so obviously uh, SCS software has said that the extended cab or the sleeper will come at a later date. So right now we only have the day cab. Uh, we have a few different chassis options ranging for like a 4x2 and 2x4 and different fuel sizes, stuff like that. Uh, engines is where there's a lot of fun stuff. You've got the Detroit diesels, which I'm rocking. So I'm rocking the uh, Detroit diesel DD16, that is, yep. Uh, and then also, and there's also the Cummins and stuff like that uh, as well, if you like the sound of those. Um, I'm also doing the Detroit DD12 uh, or DT12, sorry, transmission there, just 12 speed just because it can. Interior, love the interior on the Western Stars. I think they've done a really, really good job in real life, obviously, and uh, in the game, their three chief designers apparently took over this uh, project, in my word. Uh, the whole truck just looks great, doesn't it? Uh, Paint-wise, while we're on the tab, has a lot of different things. If you have DLCs, obviously you can choose a bunch of these. But right down at the bottom, at least for me, uh, Wings of Awesomeness. This is actually an official paint for the Western Star, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, but I'm just rocking a custom metallic red for the truck because I thought it looks kind of cool. And the big thing, accessories. There are a ton of accessories. Um, lots and lots that uh, you can do. A uh, ton of different customization, uh, different bumper. Well, that's the banner. That's going to let down. Uh, different things. You can kind of deck it out in a forestry aspect, which I think is kind of cool. Lots of extra chrome. You've got different tires. Uh, you'll see on mine that I'm actually taking advantage of the free update of the wheels tuning pack. Uh, so I'll show that in a second and uh, go over a few different things. One thing I did notice, though, is that the horns, if I can actually hit the bubble for them, maybe, possibly, there we go, and the horn adapter, you can have the regular SCS software ATS horns, or if you do the Roar WS, which actually has the Western Star logo on them, so I think that is kind of cool. And if we go into the interior, not too much uh, to do. Those are all bubbles for the exterior, but other than that, like, you guys... If it's a free, it's a free truck. Keep in mind, the free truck that comes with. If you have ATS, it will be downloaded automatically. Um, this is a true pleasure to be able to kind of configure this, and I don't have any complaints. I mean, it looks a, like a great truck. So, without further ado, let's get on to the journey. Okay, now with all that configuration mess out of the way, uh, you can tell by the front tires. Uh, yeah, these are wide. So I'm rocking the extra wide tires and stuff. Same with the rear. Um, that was uh, included with the free update to the wheels tuning pack. In my word, does it make the truck look slick. I've got some extra chrome, a custom metallic paint. Um, other than that, it is just a beautiful. So why don't we get this thing started up and listen to the horn. Pretty nice air horn, I have to say. Uh, better than some of them. So why don't we get on our way. We're heading over to Oakland, like I said. Just a short journey. Um, nothing too special. Let's get the beacons on here. I wouldn't class this as an oversized load, but uh, they do... I, I don't know. I think it. I think you can class it as one. It's, uh, it's big enough. Uh, it's a big enough turning radius. So why don't we go out here. We're going to make it left out of here. Um... I hope everyone is doing well. I certainly am. Just, I'm so excited to be able to uh, finally get on these Western Star trucks. I think a lot of people are. Um, obviously, if you haven't seen my video kind of talking about the release of it, well, actually, what's the point? I'm driving it now. I mean, if you really want to check it, it'll be in the card above. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of 
right now I'm driving proof of it and uh, so there is some information in that but other than that you can just check it out um, other than that I hope everyone is doing well enjoying their Saturday or have enjoyed this their Saturday or whatever this vi whenever this video finds you um, I hope you guys are having a great day uh, I certainly am I already said that but you know just have to uh, uh, reevaluate the point here um, let's get on the, we're getting onto the highway here so let's hope uh, oh I almost took off the man that posted bus or that posted truck is flying which is FedEx by the way but you know uh, non-copyrighted names here uh, but let's do some cinematic shots look at all that chrome you know the one thing that is nice and I'll kind of touch on this now I kind of hinted on it earlier the fact that they added with this truck release the fact that you could actually take some 49 X's behind you in, um, in the uh, piggyback um, configuration here uh, which is kind of cool um, main reason why they did that is because uh, if you have the Oregon DLC and I believe it is Portland but I will correct this place if I'm wrong um, is in Portland Oregon is where the manufacturer or the, where the uh, main base of Western Star is where their manufacturing plant is uh, so as far as I know um, Oh, our customer is expecting us soon. Uh, don't worry about that. We don't really care about that in this series. Um, oh, the other thing that I was going to touch on is the, the display. Lots of different options. I'm going to actually stick with the, uh, the speedometer here because... But, yeah, just the interior on these things are amazing, I have to say. But anyways, back to what I was going to say. Portland, Oregon. Um, as far as I know, that's where they do the manufacturing. I believe they touched on it so that you can actually go to the and pick up these things from that manufacturing plant or from some of the Western Star dealers and uh, take them around. So that's what I've done. Take it from the dealer um, and uh, to, I guess, the shipping place, which would make sense in real life. And let's do a hill start here. Come on, buddy. Um, I kind of went over what the specs of this thing was engine and transmission wise. So it's got some torque and it's got some power behind it. Uh, it's just a matter of actually doing it. I do like how it handles. I have to say it is a nice turning radius. Now saying that it's a pretty short wheelbase, so that would make sense. But overall, I just love this truck. I, I, I don't know if I can explain it any better. It's just a really nice truck. And it's going to be tempting with my Prime Logistics series, I think. <laughs> Shameless plug. Um, be be careful to, on that, because I think this truck is winning me over over my uh, my Kenworth, which is pained me to say. I love this truck. I have to say, they've done such a great job with it. Uh, looks amazing. It shines in the sun. I mean, whatever. Um, the regular horn, no, not the air horn. The regular horn. Go on to X here so you can actually hear it better. Little wimpy, but most of the trucks, new trucks are when it comes to that. But the air horn does not disappoint, I don't think. I like it. Oh, harden the brakes. Ish. Okay. Truck, just brake at the top of the hill. Thanks. That's that's really nice of you. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, very nice to be able to get into the Western Star. But to be honest, I don't think many people were expecting it. Obviously, SES Software were working behind the scenes with Western Star, and I believe it is Daimler Trucks, uh, to, be, to bring us the 49X. And I don't think... Like, I wasn't expecting it. I was 100% expecting the next truck from some teases... Uh, teaser, sorry. I don't know if they were completely accurate or what. But I was fully expecting uh, the Freightliner series, in, in particular the Cascadia. Uh, let's actually get an engine brake here while I'm going. Eh, not much of a Jake brake, but that's okay. Most of the uh, newer trucks don't have much of one. Uh, but if you want to see the modded uh, 2018 Freightliner Cascadia, go ahead and check the card above. I did that. Uh, I would hope that the SCS software version would be that quality, if not a ton better. Uh, that truck was really nice, actually. Did the Walmart skin on that one. So go ahead and check that one out. It was pretty cool. Uh, but the main focus here is that we have a new truck. It is unbelievable what the Western Stars are doing. And we have to go around this fire truck who decided to pull out on me. Thanks, dude. Gee, cars. Can you wait a second, please? Gee whiz. 
I mean, impatient much. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm just so happy we have a new truck brand, or another truck brand, sorry, in the, in Western, or I was going to say in Western Star, in, in American Truck Simulator. And I also decided just to be here in California. One, because Stockholm was the dealer closest to where I had left off in this save. <laughs> and two, um, it, I haven't been in California for quite a while. Uh, my stuff, Cadillac. Uh, gee whiz. I don't really need to be signaling, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, it is just unreal about this truck. And without that, and, and with all that said, we're here. Just nice short delivery. Um, if you want to see more of this truck, I am going to be doing more on it. I can tell you that much. Um, it is a beautiful thing. I don't care. Is it going to take it? Seriously? Didn't take it? You know what? Honestly, I don't really care in this series. It's not a huge concern of mine. So we're just going to park it more or less where it should be. Um, and call that good. So ho hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did. Let's go ahead and turn off the truck so I can actually talk. That was a horn, but who cares? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, obviously, if you guys are new here and actually are watching to the end of the video, um, go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications and maybe possibly like the video. I'm not one to normally plug much when it comes to subscribing and stuff. I used to in my earlier videos, but I decided to change my mind on that. That's not really something that I really want to listen to all the time. And so I normally don't do it, but if you guys really want to help out the channel, uh, go ahead and do that. I would much appreciate it. If you want to be part of the new Prime Timer community, uh, we are growing very quickly, actually. At least quickly in my mind, and I can't thank you guys enough for the continued support. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this amazing, amazing short journey with this amazing... How many times can I say amazing? Uh, with this amazing new truck. Uh... And without further ado, thank you guys again so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.